Hello everyone. Okay, so uh, just before I put the, the little flight video up, it's nothing special, I'm not going for distance or anything like that, just, uh, it's just a little flight video. I just want to just say a couple of things that I noticed with this. It was, um, one, if you're going to use INAP, if you're going to do this yourself, if you're going to use INAP, and INAP is fantastic. And if you want to use a GPS module, I've not used one just yet, um, because this flight controller doesn't have... Um, it doesn't allow me to connect a compass, so there's no point in me having a GPS. I mean, you could have a GPS in there, but you're not going to be able to do uh, what you'd like to be able to do with it with a compass. So, but I have noticed that um, you can't. I turned my flight control around, so I rotated it. Um, it would have been um, negative 90, 270 degrees in order to have the USB sticking out the back. But unfortunately, in INAV, you can't reallocate the motors just yet. Uh, I'm sure you'll be able to soon, and what I mean by that is, um, rather than have, uh, let's say, we're going to go at 90 degrees, we need everything, the motors all switching round one, you know, all of them coming round one, and in beta flight, you can do that, you can just go into your resources, and you can change the motor resources, okay, but in INAV you can't do it, I did try, you can't do it, um, and that's just not something that's supported with INAV at the moment, so I've had to put it back so the USB is here which means that I've got to take it apart to get in there and do any updates and bits and pieces with it like that unless I put that USB unless I put the um, Bluetooth on like I said then I can do it a little bit a uh, bit easier like that so that's the first thing uh, and uh, and the second thing is the, f the frame seems to have a bit of flex but maybe it's just me maybe I'm just expecting it to have this you know it seems there flex quite a bit and I've noticed that with a new one you know that there the, the isn't that same amount of flex on that's quite hard to get it to do that so I don't know whether it's something to do with the fact that this is quite an old frame it's been flowing around quite a bit and being a plastic I'm wondering whether it gets fatigued quickly or not you know um, but I think that makes a bit of a difference, especially when you're dropping in, um, in, in altitude quickly, in on its own wash. Um, but anyway, apart from that, you know, it, it, you know it's, it's, it's a nice, it flies nice anyway. And these motors sound quite nice, and uh, and it is a smoother flight, of course, because you're only working with two S. So it's not so zip, 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 zippy as if you'd have four S, you know, five, six S, whatever. Um, it is going to be a smooth flight, so it's a case of like finding a better camera for it in bits and pieces, isn't it? So, and of course, there's plenty of those now and now around now that you get the you get the HD as well as FPV built in. Anyway, that's enough of that. So, uh, I'm going to put this video up and uh, see what you think. It's just a little fly around in front of me, um, and I'm going to put a few of the few of the pictures up for inside because if you, when you see on the pictures, you'll see. Uh, there's plenty of room inside for putting GPS and other bits and pieces in there. So, and uh, it may be worth changing out this, changing out the flight controller, and even putting in a smaller one, you know, 20 by 20, rather than these uh, 30.6s by 30.6s. But there's there is quite a lot of possibilities with this. So there's definitely some stuff doing. And what I'll do as well is I'll do a full changeover video when I swap all this interior into the other shell. Um, so if you want to, you know, sort of come along step by step with that, you can do. But just for now, I'm going to shut this video up, a little bit of a flight video, so you can see, you know, it still does its thing. It flies around. Personally, I think it behaves a lot better than Hobson does.
through a slight drift there.
engine off